Hi there everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this poncho. Um, it's not hard, the square is a little bit, um, it's got a lot of different rows in it, so it's not it's not as simple as just a, a granny square, but you could use any square and just use the design if you find this too hard. I did um, crochet the motifs on, the squares on one to another, so if you find that too hard, you can sew them on, which is also great. It's up to you, whichever works for you. Um, but I did crochet mine on and I'll show you how. Um, it's pretty big before you put your neckline on. So don't worry about that if it's falling off because this is what brings it in. And all I did here was I made chains, a bunch of chain and brought it around. So it just gives it a different effect. But yeah, this is the poncho and I'm going to show you how to make it. So let's get started. Right, so to make this poncho, you're going to need, um, if you want to do it in the same colors as me, it doesn't really matter. You can go in a different yarn and hook. You're just going to get a slightly different size. Um, but I used, I love this yarn and I actually got it from Hobby Lobby and I'm using the neon colors and this is a, let's see, this is 100% acrylic and it's a 4 medium so that's the one that I'm using and I'm using a size 5 millimeter crochet hook which is an H and I'm using it in this neon pink and in the neon yellow what are we going to call this one this is yeah yellow neon so i'm using the neon and the this is obviously neon pink as well yeah pink neon and yellow neon but as i say you know i'm one of these that just love bright colors and to me the brighter the better but i know that not everybody's like that so never be um see mine and think oh the colors are too bad you can use whatever color it will come out it's amazing the look that you get by using different colors it makes a big difference to your um, pattern now one tip if you want to make a whole bunch of these up to yeah because you when you're making this motif you're going from it's like this you're going from this section then you're actually cutting your yarn off and then you're doing these little flowers and then you're cutting your yarn off and then you're doing that so what I did was I made a whole bunch of these middle parts, just a bunch because it's so quick to do these. I did a whole bunch. Then I did the yellow around a whole bunch of them, the ones that I had made, and then do the last row on all of these. You know, whichever, I just find it goes a little bit quicker. And then on the last round, you have to join it. Um, but you know, it's not the end of the world if you do it the other way, it, whichever, you know, whichever way you prefer. Now this is what it's actually going to look like. We're going to be taking our squares and we're going to be doing one, two, three, four, five. But we're going to be doing ten. So you're going to do a long row of ten because it's going to turn around over here. Because this is where you have a join. You don't have a join there and you have a join here. So you're going to flip these around. So you've got to do a set of 10 another set of 10 and another set of 10 but only do the one set of 10 and then the rest you have to join so you can do one long row with 10 which i actually have done see there's my long this one all the way down with i've actually got nine on here but i've got to add one more that's my long one and then over one two three four five you're going to halve it and this is the part that's going to be halved and put over your shoulder so you'll halve it and put it over your shoulder and that's it's how you're going, to, you're going to do four join on the front and on the back turn it around after four join on the front and back and same here so you end up having that's 10 20 30 34 38 42 so you need 42 squares all in all and it sounds like so many but this really is a pretty anyway pack. so that's what your little square is going to look like and then i just joined them i'll show you how we join them i just joined them together crocheting now once again if you really struggle joining as we crocheting you can just sew yours um uh, it might be yeah it should be fine i mean you're just going to you just have to do it carefully you know you can just join it there onto the other one however you want to join it i find it a lot easier just to crochet it and it's not hard i'll go i'll go slowly as i do it so you can keep up 
and um, yeah so anyway after saying all that let's get right. started so to start our motive you're going to just start like you usually do whichever method you use and we are going to chain five you're going to chain five and then you're going to slip stitch into the first chain to form a circle to form a ring okay so you got your first okay, so you slip stitch to the first one to the first chain that you made and you form a ring okay then you're going to chain four one two three four and then you're going to do a double crochet into the ring okay and that's going to be standing as your second double crochet that stands as your first this is your second and then chain one double crochet in your ring chain one double crochet in your ring chain one double crochet in your ring chain one double crochet in the ring chain one and we want to have eight double crochets including your Is chain seven chain one and number eight okay so as long as you have your eight you're good and then we're going to slip stitch into the third chain one two three and close our circle now you're going to have to pull on this to close your circle a bit more there you go now that's the very first step then the second thing to do is you're going to chain four one okay two. you're going to chain four and then you're going to go into this first space so that's where i chain four i'm going into the very first space and i'm going to do a double crochet you're actually going to do three double crochets that's one two three in the very same space okay so you've got three double crochets in the same space and then you're going to chain one go into your very next space and do the same crochets in that same space and chain one okay so for this round you chained four went into the first space with three double crochets chain one three double crochets chain one do that into each one of these spaces and you should end up with eight three double crochet in the spaces and you have a chain in between each so this is one way to remember it. the first one you're doing three with one chain in between okay and you must go around and I'll, I'll meet you back here because I want to show you how we do that last part so go ahead and do that and I'll meet you back right, at so I'm end. at the end one here and I've got one two three four five six seven chains three ch three double crochets okay so I've got one more to do now this first chain four is going to be the last double crochet of the next chain set of ch double crochet threes see because you've got to have three in each and we did one in the beginning so i go into my next space so i chain one after that one and i go into this space right over here and i'm only going to do two double crochets because i already have the third one so see i've got the two there and then here's my third so just go into the top of the third just go into the third double crochet the third chain that you had made there see and there's your your fourth one over here so you just went into that chain there okay so now you should have eight you just make sure you do so count them you should have eight of these okay now what we're going to do is we're going to chain five one two three four five okay once again in this space the very first space you're going to do a double crochet and you're going to do chain one in the same space double crochet chain one the same space double crochet and if you've got four one two three four that's it you don't do another chain one now you're going to go in you're going to skip over these three and you're going to go into the next chain space and you're going to do the same thing double crochet chain one same space double crochet chain one same space double crochet chain one and in the same space double crochet chain one and there you should have four double crochets in the same space four double crochets in the same space with a chain in between them except for your last one we don't do a chain in that last one which okay, I and that's do. going to give you this kind of a it's going to end up being like this one so you should once again at the end of that also have eight of these so i'm going to finish my row and i'll meet you back here all right so i went all the way around and i did double crochet four double crochets with a chain one in between now this one doesn't work like the other round because this 
this chain is part of the four for here. So now you're just going to go into the third chain and slip stitch through that and then you're going to finish your work here. So you're going to cut off your thread. Now you're going to go into any one of these clusters, okay, but you're going into the last one of any one of the set. So you find one of these set and you're going to go into this last one here. Okay, this is very important. So there's one, one double crochet chain, one double chain, one double chain, one double. So this is your four set in the same one and you're going in this end one. Okay, so you're going to join your yarn and go into this end one and just pull this over there. Okay, then you're going to chain two and then go into this next space over here with a double crochet but don't finish it. You're doing the three double crochets together. One there, one there and one in the next one. This will be the first space of your cluster and go through two and then go through all three. Okay, now I'll do a few with you so don't worry. All of these have a chain three in between them. So that's one way that you can memorize this step here. Now into the very next space you're going to do a single crochet then chain three. One, two, three. Now we're going to do the same thing here, three double crochets together in the next three spaces. So double crochet in this one and this should be the three you're using is the end of the one cluster, that middle one and the beginning of the next set of clusters. Okay, so this one double crochet, just go through two, yarn over, go into the middle, just go through two, go into this first one of the next cluster, go through two, and then go through all four. Okay, chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the next one, chain three, and now you're going to do the same thing, three together in the next three spaces, so one, Go through two, this is the middle one, go through two, the first one of the next set of clusters, go through two, go through all four, chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in this one, and see this one out of the four, it's this middle one, single crochet, chain three, and do the same thing here, double crochet, just through two, double crochet in the middle, just through two, double crochet in that one, and just through two, and go through all. Okay, so that's this round is fairly simple. You can see there's the four, and you're going to start in the very second one, which is starting with your cluster, but that was over there. Three together in each individual stitch, chain three, single crochet, chain three, your three doubles together. Okay, so keep doing that and I'll meet you back here at the end of this round. All right, so I've gone all the way around. I did my chain three, single crochet. Then you're going to chain three and you're going to go into the top of where you did these three together and just slip stitch through there. Okay, now you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And you're going to do a double crochet in the same space and then you're going to chain two. Double crochet in the same place, chain two, double crochet in the same place, chain two, and you're wanting five. Let's see, one, two, three, four, and double crochet in the same place. Okay, so you're needing five of those. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two, and that needs to be five. And once again, don't chain two after you've done this one. You're going to go straight into the top of your next cluster that you did. All of this you're going to skip. So you're going to do go all the way into this one, so into the top, and do the same thing. Double crochet, chain two. Now initially it looks like it's actually puckering a little bit, yeah, but it's fine. When you get the rest of the motive on, it equals out. So another double crochet in the same place chain two, double crochet in the same place, chain two, double crochet in the same place, and this is number four, chain two, double crochet in the same place, and that should be chain five. One, two, three, four, five. 
And you're going to do the same thing in the next spot over here. Go in there. And it's a long stretch, but it's okay. It works because you're making so many of these stitches in the same place. It compensates for this big jump. Chain two, double crochet in the same space, in the same place. And that's it. Don't chain two after that. Okay, so do that all the way around and I'm going to meet you back here. Alright, so I've got my five double crochets with two chains in between and I'm coming to the end. And all that you're going to do is go all the way across and just go into the third, one, two, three, the third chain with a slip stitch. And then this is going to be cut off as well. So that's the end of this slot over here. Now we're going to come in with our new colour. Well, not new colour, our pink. So, alright, so I've got my slip knot on here and now once again you're going to come into one of these clusters in the last space, okay? So just take one of these little flower parts and come into the last one and slip stitch through. Alright, so now for this very first one you're going to chain three. One, two, three chain. Then you're going to wrap the, your yarn around your hook three times one two three and go into this space over here go through two go through two and go through two and don't take those off you wrap your yarn over twice and go into the next space go through two go through two and then go through all three okay now this round is a little bit it's a little harder than this one. I'm going to try and simplify it for you. Okay, then you're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going to, you're going into each one of these spaces. So that's an easy one to remember. You're going to be ultimately going into each space. So remember that. So after you've done this, you chain six and then you're going to just do a single crochet in the next space. You're going to chain one and single crochet in the next space. Okay, then you're going to chain two. Now you're going to do three double crochets together in the next three sp spaces. One, two, and three. And then you go through all three of them. Okay. I just want to do the first little part with you and then I'll try and simplify it. Now you're going to chain two, single crochet in the next space, chain one, single crochet in the next one then we're going to chain six one two three five six six and then you're going to do what you did in the beginning you're going to wrap your yarn around twice and go into this one go through two go through two so it's twice now you're going to wrap your yarn around three times for the middle three times for this one go through two go through two, go through two, and then twice again for this one. Go through two and go through two, and then go through all four. And then you've got six to chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. And these are my corners that I'm making. So we have got the six chain, that's my corner. Okay, six chain, single crochet in the next, chain one, single crochet in the next, chain two, one, two, and then three double crochets together in one, in each space of the next three. Chain two, and single crochet in the next one. Chain one, single crochet in the next, and then we've got to do chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll do this whole round with you and then I'll explain to you how we're doing it. Six and then it's to wrap around twice into the next space. Go through two, go through two, wrap around three times, go into this space, go through two, go through two and go through two, wrap around twice, go into the next space, Go through two, two, and then through all four. Six, one, two, 
three, four, five, six chain, single crochet in the next, chain one, single crochet in the next, chain two, and then your three double crochets, one in each space together. And three or four. Okay, and then one, two chain, two chain, one single crochet, one chain, single crochet, six, one, two, three, four, five, six chain, and then wrap your yarn around twice, go in the next one, go through two, go through two, wrap three times, one, two, three, go through two, go through two, go through two, twice, go in the next one, one, two, and then through all of these, and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then single crochet in the next, one chain, single crochet in the next, and then chain two, and your Double crochets together, one, two, and three, and then chain two, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, and now, because you're right at the end, you've got to do chain six, so you can finish your corner. So you're going to just, you're right over here, you're going to chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you're going to go into the top of these three and slip stitch. Okay, now I'm going to show you, now I'm going to show you what we actually did. It looks a little skew, but it is correct. And it, on the last row, it all pans out. All right, so trying to explain this to you so it's a little bit easier for you. Um, you do get used to it, but initially it's a little bit tricky to try and memorize it. So what we did was we did chain three. Then we wrapped our yarn around three times for this middle stitch over here. So then you went with two times around and you did them all together, okay? Then you did six chain over there. And then you did a single crochet, one chain, single crochet, two chain, and then you did your three double crochets together, one in each space, one there, one there, one there. And you did two chain with a single crochet, one chain, single crochet. Now we're coming to our repeat. Six chain, two wraps, three wraps, two wraps, six chain. Now this is where it'll help you to understand. You've got a corner, and then you've got your three doubles together and then you've got another corner where you're wrapping your yarn around. Between each one of these you have six chain, okay? So there's my three together with all the long wrap around two, wrap around three, wrap around two. You're going to have six chain, six chain. Between your three double crochets here you have a two chain and a two chain. Here you're always going to just have one chain in between your single crochets. Now it sounds rather difficult, but it's not. If you can remember that, it helps. That's how I memorize mine. So basically, between your corners, you have six chain, two wraps, three wraps, two wraps. Okay, then it's a single, and these are just single crochets. So it's six after your corner, six, and before your corner, six. Go in with a single crochet, one chain between your single crochets. Okay, one single crochet, and then between these two, you have two chain. Two chain to start it off and two chain to end it off. Single crochet one, single crochet, then your six, your six, single crochet one, single crochet two, two. So follow the pattern. I mean, if you can't memorize it, it's fine. Just keep reading the pattern and going stitch by stitch that way. I mean, whichever works for you. I just like to memorize mine because I can go quicker, you know, and I make a little formula and that's, I pick up where the formula is, and that's what it is. It's six between your corners and two between this one with your single crochets with just one in between. That's all that it is to that one. 
but um, anyway so that's just to try and help you um, but whichever way works for you do that. Alright so you do chain six and you're going to go into the top you chain six and go into the top of this one with a slip stitch. Okay then you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Then you're going to do a double crochet in the same place and another double crochet in the same place but they're not together they're separate okay so you got that with your two double crochets then you're going to chain three now everything is divided I mean all your stitches when you're doing your chains are chain three except for your corner where it's chain two so that's an easy one to remember these the row before had chain six chain two and chain one decide which one this one they're all chain three in between so that's easy enough so you did that this is your corner once again so chain three and then single crochet in this chain space okay chain three one two three and then this middle one gets the double crochet this one yarn over and double crochet chain three one two three So you chain three, then this one gets a single crochet. Okay, you've done your chain three, single crochet in this one. Chain three, one, two, three. The middle one once again gets a double crochet. And then chain three, one, two, three. This one, single crochet. Okay, so that's easy enough. Chain three, one, two, three. Then this is where your corner is so you're going to have to do more than that so you're going to do double crochet double crochet in the same place and then chain two in between and then a double crochet in the same place and a double crochet in the same place and then chain three one two three okay so that's what your corner is going to be double crochet double crochet chain two double crochet double crochet then chain three and then once again this one gets a single crochet chain three single crochet in the chain six chain three one two three two three and then once again this gets the double this gets the single that gets the double and that gets a single so it's single double single double single with three in between that's next easy is a, next is a double chain three one, two, three, and a single in here. And then once again for your corner, chain three, one, two, three, two doubles, one, two doubles, with a chain two, and another two doubles all in the same place. And then you've just made your corner. And then once again, chain three, one, two, three. So, to sum it all up for this round, you're doing your corners everything has a chain three in between chain three chain three chain three chain three except for your corners which have a chain two so that's easy enough then after your chain through the first one is a single crochet that's a double single double single so this one is easy nothing to it um, you know if you can just remember those chain three double double chain two double double in the same chain three single chain three double chain three single chain three double chain three single chain three and then you'll do that all the way around and i'll meet you back here three a double in that one chain three a single in this one and then you're going to you can see you didn't finish this corner you did the chain over there with two so i need one more for my corner i need one more double crochet so i went with a single crochet there then chain three now I need to do my other, my last part of this corner. So I'm just going to go, now I don't want to go in here because my stitch can float around a bit. I'm just going in here. I'm just making a little spot in there. And I'm doing the double crochet. And then you're going to just slip stitch to the third one. And there's the rest of your corner. Okay. Then you're going to cut it off and that's your very first square that you've made now that's for the first one that's just the only one that you're going to complete all the way because the rest you're going to join so get this one done and then i'm going to show you how to join all your others together so yeah let's continue mm -hmm. 